Hey, what's up? It's Yosemite Sam back with another video, number two. I'm on a roll here. We're getting going. We're going on a little flow. So let's get right into it. I have always had a roommate. Always. Always. Always had a roommate. From since I was a baby, I had my mom, my sister. And when I moved into college, I had college roommates. After college, I moved with friends. We moved to another house. We constantly people in my life. I even got my own house. My friends moved in with me. Constantly roommate. Up until about a year ago. Actually, I don't know how long it's been. Has it been? I don't know. I'm gonna say about a year if I'm wrong. It's gonna be right here. There is something right there. There's something right there. I was wrong. I was wrong. So I've been alone for a year, and I tell you, it's definitely a different experience. I mean, there's bad things, of course. Sometimes you hear creaky noises things that really can't be explained. And you know you're the only one in the house. That's a problem. Sometimes your house is an absolute mess and there's no one you can yell at. When you have roommates, you can complain. Why did you leave this here? Why did you do this? But forget about those negative things. One thing makes all of this absolutely worth it. So number thing, it's probably a situation that you've been in as well, but it's affected me in every place I've lived in with other people. Let me set the scene. You wake up, get ready to go to work or go to school, get ready to leave, but then you think, oh man, there's this food that I want. I don't have enough time right now. There's this food that I want. It's sitting there right in the fridge. I'm going to have that when I get home. So you're, you've got that set in your head before the day even started. I'm going to handle that when I get home. Sometimes you're at work and you're scrolling down the computer just looking at pictures of it and saying, can't wait till I get home. Other people will even want to message you or trying to talk to you during the day and say, hey, you want to go hang out? You want to go do this tonight? And you're like, no, no, that's cool. I, I got plans. You get in your car, you're headed home. You're like, I'm going to eat that ice cream, baby. I'm going to eat that ice cream, baby. I'm gonna eat that ice cream, baby. I'm gonna eat that ice cream, baby. I am gonna eat that ice cream, baby. You pull up in the drive, you whip that car into her. Whip in the driveway. You stroll confidently into the kitchen. You open that door, you open the refrigerator and People with roommates know exactly what happened here. And you get you get these kind of things. <laughs> you know, dog, uh, that's crazy, son. I just got hungry. I don't even know what happened, man. I just grabbed the first thing, but you know buy you another one, right? Right? <laughs> that one scenario outweighs all the other consequences of not having a roommate. So let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with me? Am I crazy or is this a thing that we've all had, that we all share, that we're here, that we're right here? And again, make sure you like and subscribe. If you have any ideas of things that you want me to talk about, video ideas, ways to start this thing, I still don't know how to start a video or how to end a video, hit me out in the comment box below, hit me up on Twitter, and let's keep going. That's a terrible way to end. Okay, let's keep, let's keep going. <laughs> Bye. Gonna eat it up, put it in my stomach